want to show you how to do crank three time calculations with a spreadsheet. So just as a reminder, crank three times in uncertainty. I, I if I have one to calculate the area, I'd calculate the area, I'd calculate the maximum area, then I'd calculate the minimum area. And then, oops, I didn't want to do that. And then the uh, uncertainty is the maximum minus min divided by two. Okay, so let's do that with density. So here I've already made some measurements. Uh, mass, the height, it's a, it's a cylinder, and I've measured the height, the diameter, and the mass. And so I get those values right there. Now, in a spreadsheet, you have to be careful because I can't put M equals all in one cell. I can only put a number. If I put something other than a number in the cell, I can't do calculations with it. So I put M equals 25.287, and I put the grams over here, which I don't actually need, but those are just labels. Okay, so here I have the mass, and here I have the uncertainty in the mass. It's in another cell, okay? Same thing for height, same thing for diameter. Okay, so let's calculate the volume first. So in a, a spreadsheet, if I click equals in the cell, and then I can type in formulas, and it will do the calculations for me. So the volume of a cylinder is the area of the base times the height, and the area of the base is pi r squared, or pi times diameter over 2. So this is going to be pi. Pi is a built-in function in uh, a spreadsheet, so I can just, you could type 3.14 if you wanted to. I'm going to say times a height, so I'm going to click times, and I'm going to click this cell, and it says B3. This is cell B3. So it says don't use 5.3, it says use whatever's in there. Times the diameter over 2, which is this, divided by 2, squared. And that's it. There's my volume. Now, you, the cool thing about a spreadsheet is if I change this to 5.2, the volume changes. I don't have to redo the calculation. Okay. And you could actually stop right there and just say, oh, I'm going to put in the minimum volume, the maximum volume, and recalculate it. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it with the spreadsheet. Okay. How do I calculate the minimum volume? Well, I'm going to use the minimum height and the minimum diameter. So it's going to be equal to pi times not h, but h minus dh times the diameter minus that divided by 2 squared. And you see I do indeed get a smaller volume. Now let's do the maximum volume. Same idea. Pi times h, but now I'm going to say h plus that number times d plus that number divided by 2 squared. So there, I do indeed get a smaller volume. I do indeed get a larger volume for that one, so everything looks like it's okay. And these are units of cubic centimeters. So now to find the uncertainty in the volume, it's going to be equal to the maximum, click that, minus the minimum, oops, not that, misclick, divided by 2. There's my uncertainty. So my uh, volume is going to be 9.3, 9.4, plus or minus 2.7. That'd be fine. Okay, now let's move on to the density. How do I calculate the density? It's mass divided by volume. So this is going to be equals mass divided by volume. There's my mass, my density. Now let's do the same thing with the minimum density. The minimum density, if you did this, if I said equals the mass minus d mass divided by the volume minus d volume, I get this. Look at that. That's not smaller than that. That's not the, that can't be the minimum density. It's bigger than the density. And it's because over here I'm dividing by a small number would give me a bigger number. I actually want to add these. So I'm going to say actually I want to find divide by the maximum volume. And that gives me the minimum density. Now for the maximum uh, density, I'm going to say equals uh, the mass plus the uncertainty in the mass divided by the minimum volume. So it's going to be V minus dV. And it is indeed larger than that. Now the uncertainty in the density is just going to be max minus min. Oops. 
know what I'm doing. Equals max minus min divided by 2. So now at the end I have this and this. This is grams per centimeter cubed. And this is grams per centimeter cubed. There. I've calculated the density with the uncertainty for this cylinder. And again, if I wanted to change it for a different cylinder, I'd, I'd just change these things and everything changes. 3.3, everything changes. 5.3, boom. You like that? You should. If you don't use spreadsheets the right way, they're, they're worthless. But if you use them the right way, they can be very powerful. Okay, I'll show you another video on how to do this in Python.